Yo, what's happening, my tribe? Slash your way in Elden Ring with this insane strength build with the rotten great axe, along maybe one of the top five best looking and cool armor sets. You will roar, charge, breath, slash, and kill everything in your path in late game and beyond, adding a little sprinkle of rot into the mix. I tried dual wielding with this build, but I decided to go with two hand instead for a big reason. So stick around to find out why, how to get the weapons, items, and how they synergize together to deal massive damage if you play it right. And after watching this video, I know you will. So let's jump right in. Game on. If you frequent the channel, you know I really like dual wielding, especially bleed builds. And I wanted to do that with the sexy rotten great axe, but those are colossal weapons, they weigh a ton, and the recovery time is a bitch. And at the end, I wasn't convinced about the damage output. So instead, I two handed a rotten great axe with the rest of the items that I will mention later in the video, and the results were incredible. One shotting enemies or killing them in a few blows, and hurting bosses real bad with each charge attack. It's beautiful. The Rotten Great Axe at max level with heavy affinity will scale B with strength, having the most attack rating possible for a non max out character. The weapon also has 65 rod buildup, which it gets proc, but it's not the main damage source. It can be found in the north part of the Consecrated Fields, north of Ordina Liturgical Town, after defeating the Rotten Duelist that's looking over the cliffs. The Ash of War applied to the Rotten Great Axe is the War Cry that will change how the heavy charge attack works. For this weapon, it will switch it to a forward charge attack that can stagger most enemies multiple times and then finish it with a heavy slash. The synergy of the rest of the items will trigger down because of War Cry. It only lasts 20 seconds, so you need to have it active before a fight and mid fight if needed. You will have the following moveset at your disposal with the Rotten Great Axe, but make sure to use the heavy attack and the charge heavy attacks more since those are buffed by this build. You have your light attack swing and your heavy attack swing, your light jump attack and your heavy jump attack in a more vertical fashion, your running light attack, your running heavy attack, your dodge and forward light attack, and the most important one when you have Warcry active is the charge heavy attack that executes a running forward attack that staggers enemies multiple times, ending with a final swing that can be linked to another charge heavy attack and will run again and do the same motion, but attacking from the left side. This attack here is how you're going to do the most damage. This build is all about charge heavy attack, but since the running animation and the recovery time after the big swing leaves you open, expect damage straight in with the enemies and bosses, so you will want to increase your defense with talisman and armor. Now, the War Cry Ash of War is considered a roar in Elden Ring, so the power of heavy and charged heavy attack under the effect of War Cry gets increased by using the Roar Medallion and also stacks, listen to this, with the passive effect of the Highland Axe. You just have to wear it as an offhand without even upgrading it once and it will increase the damage of roars by 10%. The Highland Axe can be found in Stormvale Castle inside the fortress of the Grafted Scion. It can be looted from a dead body under the large painting of Godfrey in the center of the room. An easy route to get it, it's starting from the left side chamber, side of grace, and run this way across the defense open court filled with enemies and run to this door and then taking the door on the left you will have the dead body right in front of you but sometimes kill enemies that follow you and be careful about the big enemy that walks in the room the last part of the armaments and it's the seal that i use for the incantation of this build it's the dragon communion seal that boosts dragon communion incantations and since patch 1.09 those incantations get their damage increased by 10% in PvE by the Roar Medallion. If you're using the Rotten Great Axe or the Battle Hammer, you have to go all the way and use, in my opinion, one of the top five best looking and cool armor sets in the game, and that is the Rotten Duelist set, comprised of the Helm, the Great Keeper Cloak, and the Greaves. I personally prefer the altered version of the cloak that makes it look like a, the duelist enemy you see in the lands between. I have the Samor bracelet to give that gladiator slave warrior look with the change in the wrist. One downside of this armor set, if you can call it a downside, is that it will make you draw the aggro of enemies nearby much easier 
like a sort of a taunt. So guys, comment down below if you like this drip or if you would change anything of this armor. I mean, it's not the best in terms of defense and poise, but come on, fashion souls forever. 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 For talismans, I got first the Roar Medallion that I mentioned earlier that will increase the damage from heavy and heavy charge attack under Warcry by 15%. Stacks with the passive effect from the Highland Axe and also increases the damage of Dragon Communion Incantations. As you see, it's a very important talisman in this build. Next is the Axe Talisman that increases charge attack damage by 10%. Next is the Kindred of Rot Exaltation to increase attack power by 20% for 20 seconds when Rot occurs in the vicinity. It pops when Rot gets applied, mainly from the heavy charge attack under Warcry and will affect spells too. It's a good additional source of damage increase since it gets applied by the Rotten Great Axe or the Dragon Breath Incantations. Last is the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman that will help big time with the much needed boost to physical damage negation when you trade in damage when doing those heavy charge attacks. If you're one of those players that rarely get hit, then you can swap this with the Ritual Sword Talisman to increase even more the insane damage. For the Physique Flask, you guessed it. It will increase the damage of charge attacks by 15% for 3 minutes with the Spike Crack tier. And it will stack with the Roar Medallion, the War Cry, and the Highline Axe. Next is the Green Burst Crystal tier to boost stamina recovery speed by 15 per second for 3 minutes because the heavy charge attack eat a huge amount of stamina. So in this build, I got the basic buff incantations in Golden Vow and Flame Garmy Strength. And also one incantation that helped me with swarms and groups of enemies and rot buildup as well, and that's Rotten Breath or Exile's Decay. But I personally prefer Rotten Breath because you can use it while mounting torrent, it spread farther and has less FP cost despite the lower damage. If you're creating this build from scratch, I would recommend to use a hero and, or a vagabond that has a good combination of higher strength and a good amount of faith. So you can play early game through late game as a pure strength build or a hybrid build with strength and faith. The main attribute of this build is going to be strength uh, to have the most attack power with your heavy affinity rotten great axe. Then is the vigor just because it's always needed and faith to increase damage from your incantations although they are small and I, didn't, I don't use incantations as much but they will help with groups of enemies. My character is a level 200 Vagabond, so the numbers you are about to see might be different if you have a different class. I have Vigor at 60, so you get to the second soft cap. Mine at 25, you won't need much mine unless you're going heavy in incantations. Endurance at 35, Strength at 80 to get to the third soft cap. Dexterity at 13, no points in Dexterity other than to get 10 to meet the Axe requirements, but since I'm using a Vagabond, my Dexterity is at 13 by default. Intelligence at 9, no points here. Faith at 42. The only reason I apply points in Faith is to increase a bit the Incantation's damage. Arcane at 15 to use Excite's Decay Incantation, but if you are using only a Rotten Breath, then get to 12. The synergies of this build are nuts with everything increasing at the end, your heavy charge attack, which make insane damage all around, with a little added rod to top it off. The huge damage gets balanced with the slow attacks and recovery of the colossal weapon, which translate into trading damage. And that's your main concern with this build, to try to lower the damage you get while hitting those charged heavy attacks. I really like this late game build with the rotten dualist set. So if you're still watching this video and enjoy the build, Please hit that like button to help the channel grow and please comment what you like or dislike about this build. I appreciate you all either way. Be sure to check more strength build in my insane strength build playlist. And as always guys, we will see each other on the next video. So be safe. Ciao.